Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get your first SMB client in less than 30 days. Now, there's a method that most people don't even give enough thought to, right? Most people don't even consider it when they're just starting uh, their SMMA. I get so many DMs from people uh, asking me, you know, how, how do I reach out to clients? What, you know, where should I reach out to clients? Uh, how do I get my first clients? And honestly, it's dawning on a lot of agency owners that it's a, it's a big roadblock, right? It's not everything, right? A lot of people have that misconception where they think it's pretty much everything uh, that there is to an SMA. If you're just starting out, that would be by far the biggest chunk of your time investment and your uh, energy investment. But when you when you start really growing your, your SMA and when you start signing clients and you, you have a few clients in the bag, uh, you wanna focus on operations systems, um, you know, scaling your agency, uh, for example, building incredible team dynamic, uh, team chemistry, et cetera, et cetera. It's kind of like if you haven't been fed for a month, you're not thinking about going to a, a three-star Michelin star, right? Uh, it's a bit of a bad analogy, but I think you guys get the point. Outreach and sales is by far the biggest bottleneck for most agency owners. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a very simple strategy to sign your first client in 30 days without really much work and, and much time investment. And so let's go, let's get right into it. Now, this method is called the network method, leveraging your personal network, the network that we as humans have, right? Uh, that we already have, that we've already built over the years. And so first, let, let me actually take my hoodie. So. The network method. Now, when you first start your agency, you should let pretty much everyone know in your network that you've started your social media marketing agency. Why is this? And it doesn't even have to be a business owner. It doesn't even have to be a founder or an entrepreneur. It could literally be a marketing director or a CMO working in a small to medium sized business, right? That can refer you to their boss, their business owner, their founder, CEO, whatever you want to call it. So we just want to spread the word as much as possible because a lot of opportunities are going to come flocking to you by just reaching out to your personal network. And your personal network includes uh, friends, I've got friends, acquaintances, friends, acquaintances, uh, family members, family members, uh, classmates, for example, classmates, maybe even, I don't know, family, friends. I mean, we could really get into a lot of detail right here, right? People in your community, people in your church, or whoever it is, right? You just want to reach as many people, right? And so this is really the, the first level that we want to reach out to, right? This is our personal network. Right, and so the way we actually want to process people, and I'll leave a little template on the screen. But basically, what you wanna, what you wanna do is number one, actually show that you care about them. Right? Don't just be the typical person that uh, is just in for the taking. Uh, actually, inquire about them. Yes, we're trying to get a, an outcome from them, and there's no hiding. You are using your network for your own benefit, right? But if you know you're, you've been a good person and, and you've built enough goodwill, they won't have a problem with that. And don't feel too bad about it, right? Uh, the network is there to support you, and you are there to support your network. And so don't feel too too bad about it but you still want to approach it in a very uh, empathetic and and just smart way right uh, and so what, what i typically do in any case right I, I always want to put it in their benefit and i also want to show respect and show that i truly care about it. the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to uh, dive deep and and see you know some of the accomplishments that, that they've actually uh, done uh, you know lately maybe some of the, the recent events that they've had in their life for example if one of your old school friends got married uh, a week ago and you reach out to them, you have no idea because you literally haven't been in touch for like ages and you go straight uh, into uh, asking them for a favor, they're probably not gonna be very happy. You might even lose the friendship, you might even lose the relationship and that is not what we wanna do, right? We wanna actually strengthen the, the relationship and get a favor from them. And so that is what, uh, you know, that, that's kind of the way I want you guys to approach it. And so a great way to do it is just go on their Facebook, go on their Instagram. Most normal people are posting stuff on, on their social media and so go ahead and check that out and see where you can find a point of report, right? Uh, you wanna build that report. And so just take a little snippet, for example, if they had just had a baby, if they just you know had their wedding, if their daughter got married, uh, if, if, if it's just a big event, it doesn't have to be that big of an event. For example, if they just started their own little hustle, if they started producing content, whatever it is, guys, you just wanna find a point of report. And once you found that, you wanna go ahead and open the message, the email, whatever, whatever it is, the DM, with that, acknowledging their recent accomplishment or event, right? And so start with that, then just wish them that they're well. For example, hey Chris, I noticed that your uh, daughter got married, she's looking uh, beautiful, wanted to send uh, lots of love and just congratulate you on an amazing daughter. Uh, and uh, 
yeah, hope you are well. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you tell them that you started your marketing agency uh, and just, you know, keep it lighthearted. Uh, tell them that you started a, a hustle and also be very upfront about it. Don't try to come off as the guy who uh, thinks they're a big shot when they haven't really done much, right? Uh, actually be very humble, right? And so you can actually share a, bun a bunch of your insecurities, your struggles with him or with her. And so one of the ways that you can do that is you can tell them, I just started my marketing agency and as a new entrepreneur, the first months are always the hardest. And so that's one of the things that you can tell them, right? Uh, before you actually jump into the ask. So now getting into the ask, right? What, what are you actually gonna be asking them? It's very important that you frame it correctly. Otherwise, you're not gonna get as many responses. And guys, I've iterated so many different messages and, and so many different type of uh, proposals and referral um, messages and bunch of things, right? I've tested so many different variables and I can tell you this stuff works, right? And, and I wouldn't be telling you otherwise uh, if I hadn't tested myself, if I hadn't battle tested myself. And so what I would do after I've built the report, I would actually stroke their ego a bit right I would tell them you know I I know you've got a very rich uh, network and I was wondering if you could do me a little favor who do you know in your network that is interested in growing their business profitably that's just an example of a question but it's it's actually very important the way I framed the, the question right I didn't say do you know anyone uh, who would need help I said who do you know that needs help with their marketing with, with the growth of their business. The reason why it's a very, you know, it's a very subtle distinction, but it's actually very important that you make the, the distinction and that you apply it and that you actually phrase the question in that way is because it builds a lot more accountability, right? I, I'm kind of making them responsible now. And now they're gonna try much harder because number one, I've built report. I also stroke their ego. Uh, and number three is I'm, I'm already expecting, right? I'm already expecting that they've got someone in their network and they're not gonna wanna disappoint me. And so at this point, they're gonna try their best to connect me to someone who would be interested and, and who could potentially need my services. After you've done that, the way you want to close it off uh, is you tell them, hey, we'd love to uh, grab a, a coffee, a beer. Uh, it's on me, right? Completely on me. Uh, something like that, right? I would personally never ask them to meet up. Uh, but that's just my personal uh, take and that's just my personality. Uh, if, I, if I know that I'm not going to actually want to meet up or that I'm not going to be able to meet up or that I'm not going to grab a coffee with them, I'm just not going to tell them uh, because I'm not a big fan of, of people that are uh, the, the typical person that says, hey, let's grab a, a coffee sometime, uh, it, never, it never really happens, right? And so uh, I wouldn't personally tell them that because it kind of builds accountability and, and I'm a man of my word. Uh, so I wouldn't tell them that, but uh, just keep it loose. I'd find a way to tell them that if they do bring you a lead or if they do bring you a referral, uh, you, you'll definitely compensate them. Uh, and that's just a little, uh, a, a bit of a joke, but it makes them see that you would compensate them in, in some way, right? And, and it just builds goodwill and it potentially strengthens the relationship. And so that is the first thing that we are gonna do. We are gonna go for our line of contacts. Now, here is where it gets really fun. Here's where it gets really uh, juicy. Once we've tapped into our line of contacts, you need to understand the network growth concept, right? And what, that, what this means, and I apologize guys, it, it, you can't, I don't think you can really see it very well, but what this means is that your friends will have a network of friends, right? Let's just say that each has three very good friends that they can then contact, right? Now, these three good friends have another three. And this is the exponential growth of a network, right? Uh, the same thing happens with this, right? They will have three, and this will have three more, right? I'm not gonna draw it all, all out because I don't wanna bore you guys, but that is what you guys need to keep in mind, right? Once you've, you know, once you've exhausted all this, which by the way, it won't take you just a day, it might take you uh, quite a bit more if you do it right and you put enough time and energy into it. But one, once you've exhausted this, you don't limit yourself to just these people, right? You want to tap into their network. You want to tap into their network. Those are the people that truly have success with this method. They tap into their friend's network because they built so much goodwill with their friends over the years, which I'm sure you guys have, right? You, you'll have a best friend or a best, you know, a, a, just a, a best aunt or a best uncle, just people that you really get along with that you've probably done some favors to in the past. And so you want to tap into their network. And the way you do this, very important and, and very crucial. And honestly, I love this method. If they tell you that they don't know anyone, then you ask them, hey, do you know anyone in your network who would know someone, right? And then that's a, that's a way to keep, keep them accountable. Now, don't get me wrong, and I, I don't wanna seem like I'm the type of guy who just like likes to dig and dig until I, I, I get what I want. That's completely not the case here, and you really need to diagnose the situation here, right? If I'm talking to my best friend, right, and my best friend comes back with a no, uh, you know, he doesn't know anyone who, who would, I would probably ask my best friend if he knows anyone in their network who would know someone, right? Uh, why? Because I built so much goodwill with my best friend, right? Like we were definitely, you know, we're, we're just homies. We're, you know, brothers almost at this point, right? So I'm definitely gonna dig a bit deeper. Probably my friend will even do that without me asking, right? But if they don't, just, you know, kind of encourage them. Just just give them a final push uh, to tap into their networks, networks, right? And, and that is how you have success with this method. You tap into this 
second order connection, right? So we've got first order and we've got second order. Now, if we have, let's just say that we've got 300 people that you reach out to. Uh, 300 people, right? 300 people, honestly, not that many people. Uh, if you guys take a look at your Facebook friend list, you probably have around, you probably have around 500, 600 people. Uh, if you don't, what? Well, this could be like 50, 100 people. That's still pretty good, right? Because here's where the juicy part comes in. The second order could be literally a factor of 10, right? It could be that we could be tapping into 3,000 people, right? And this is just for a normal average person. These are the, the type of tribes, the type of connections that we have built so far, right? That you have access to. We've got access to a vast network of people. And quite frankly, and unfortunately, most people don't even tap into them. And most people don't ask ever in their life. Bringing everything full circle and, and you know, kind of uh, thinking about the, the bigger message, you guys need to understand that in life, you don't get what you want. You get what you ask for, you get what you are, right? And so a lot of people like, you know, they, they have big dreams, big aspirations, but they're never willing to put in the work. They're never willing willing to ask, right? And if you don't ask, it won't be given to you. And that is why I want you guys to, to use this method, even if you don't have a, a massive network, right? Even if you don't think this method will work, I just try it, right? Just tap into your vast network, into your net rich network. The last thing that I will say, and, and some of you may already know this, but it's not all about the numbers, right? It's, it's, it's more about the quality of people in your network. And I could have a thousand people, a thousand friends, a thousand people in my network, but 750 of those, you know, go, you know, go the extra mile, right? Or, or go so far out of their way to get me a referral or to get me that contact, right? And so you might think, hey, I, you know, I don't really have uh, 300 people or, or a thousand people, but maybe you have 200 people who are really, really willing to, to go the extra mile, who would just honestly kill for you, right? Uh, uh, and, and take a bullet for you. And you definitely don't want to pass on that opportunity. So guys, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm. And I would really appreciate it. Also, leave down below any comments, any questions you may have about this average method, uh, other average methods that you want me to cover, et cetera, et cetera. If you haven't checked out my free private mentorship community on Facebook, Go ahead and do that right now. It's it's called the, the Client Closers. It's honestly an incredible group. And lastly, guys, if you haven't subbed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out. Entrepreneurship, a 3-6 approach to SMA with a specific focus on sales and outreach, and you're not gonna wanna miss out. And lastly, guys, hope everything is going well in your agency journey and in this turbulent times. Hope you guys are all safe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.